community of Payson. I'm Reverend Neil Worthington, and I'm glad you're here with us this morning. So would you be here where you are now with me as we open in prayer? So just still yourself. Make a conscious effort to still your body and connect it to the earth, connect it to the sky. And to still your mind, to put aside all of the thoughts that would run wildly away. And as we said, be here now. God of all goodness, we are grateful as ever for this beautiful day. For this day in which we get to make choices, in which we get to shape our lives, our future, but more importantly, our present. So as we're still, we take the opportunity to let go because it is in the letting go that spirit can move within us. And so we let go of <clears throat> our wishes. We certainly let go of our demands. And we even let go of our preferences to allow spirit to move in, through, and as us. And in that letting go space, we intend the goodness that we know is the very nature of the universe and of us. We intend order for our lives. And we intend love and wisdom, those gifts, those abilities that we were created as having and being able to express. We come together in togetherness, in unity, and yes, even in oneness. Bless this time that we share together. And so it is. Amen. Again, good morning, everybody. So we want to welcome you to Unity of Payson, and we're glad you're here with us this morning. We want to recognize you if you're here with us for the first time. I don't think I see anybody new on the line. Uh, if there is anyone, uh, if you're on Zoom, you can raise your hand. And if you're on the phone, you can unmute yourself by pressing star six and tell us your name. Don't think there's anybody new. Um, if you'd like to be informed of events at Unity of Payson, please contact us at our website, unityofpayson.org, and we will email you our weekly newsletter every Monday. So even though there's no one new today, let's welcome people who may come in the future uh, by saying, um, we love you, we bless you, we welcome you. And let's have our opening song. Uh, which is Blue Skies by Cinnamon Twist. And feel free to send greetings through the chat during the song, either individually or to the group. Blue skies smiling at me, nothing but blue skies do I see. all day long never saw the sun shining so bright never saw things going so right noticing the days hurrying by living in love my how they're flying blue days all of them gone nothing but blue skies from now Sunshine. 
shining so bright Never saw things going so right Noticing the days hurrying by Living in love, my how they fly And blue days, all of them gone Nothing but blue skies from now on Nothing but blue skies from now on. Now is our time for gratitudes. We're grateful for those who support Unity of Payson with time, talent, and treasure. We're also grateful for the events of last week, which included morning coffee, the intender circle, midday meditation, and the fall study program that is continuing. We're also grateful for the technology that allows us to meet virtually. And gratitude from the congregation. Take a moment and think about what you are grateful for and to express your gratitude for the blessings of your life. Please raise your hand if you would like to share and we will recognize you. I'll start by saying I'm just grateful for my health and I'm grateful for the opportunity to walk at Green Valley Park and enjoy the beautiful weather. Do we have any raised hands? Let's see. Jennifer. Someone said they appreciated the song from Jennifer. It's always the delight liquid gold voice. Um, oh, that was from Anna, Anne Marie. And then Teresa says, I'm grateful for a visit from daughter and granddaughter, brightening our weekend in Payson. And from Kay Adams, beautiful Jennifer, thanks for the awesome music every Sunday. Does anybody else have a gratitude? Okay. Unity is grounded in meditation and affirmative prayer. We have trained prayer chaplains to support you. Our chaplains are available to pray with you if you have a prayer concern. You may call or text your request to the church phone, which is 928-235-7142. The prayer team and Silent Unity will join you in prayer for 30 days. All prayer requests are held sacred and confidential. For personalized prayer support during the week, please leave a phone number or an email with your request and a chaplain will contact you. And our, we're continuing our theme, the seven spiritual laws of success. We are on law number four today and Betty Bennett is the speaker and that law is the law, the title is the law of least effort. And Betty is a licensed Unity teacher, a transformational life coach, an inspirational speaker, and an experienced group facilitator and trainer. Her mission is to live inside out, to spend every day in gratitude, and to serve wherever spirit may lead. And we're looking forward to Betty's talk a little later. The daily word for today is faith. With faith, Nothing is impossible for me. With gratitude, I use my faith to trust in the good that is always present, even when it has not yet manifested. As I pray with faith, I discern the truth that always endures through even the most difficult circumstances. As I concentrate on harmony and love, all thoughts of lack, limitation, and discord simply dissolve. As I speak with faith, I use positive words to express my belief in myself and others as divine beings. As I act with faith, I access deep, lasting strength and fortitude that helps me surmount my challenges. Inspired by my faith, I move forward with confidence. Nothing is impossible for me. The Bible verse is from Matthew 17, 20. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. Some thoughts I have on this topic of faith is uh, first the definition, a couple of definitions. One um, I found said complete trust or confidence in someone or something. 
and another is firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Uh, for me personally, I think having faith can be quite difficult. Um, obviously, in the, in the midst of great challenges, it can be difficult. Some questions to ponder, though, are, do I have faith in myself? Do I have faith that life is worthwhile? Do I have faith that there is a purpose and plan for my life and the lives of all beings? Do I have faith in my fellow human beings? Do I have faith that there is a God? Do I have faith that God has a good purpose and plan for humanity and all living beings? Do I have faith that God is and will always provide for all of our needs? Is my faith exhibited in action and results? And how do we become faithful or faith-filled? I think by asking questions and seeking answers, by study, reflection, prayer, and meditation. I think each person has to find the truth about faith and what it means to them. And I'll leave you with a couple of quotes from uh, the author, Eric Metaxas. Ideas have far reaching consequences and one must be ever so careful about what one allows to lodge in one's brain. True faith is not a leap into the dark it is a leap into the light. And with that, let's go on to our unity mission. I mean, no mission and vision today. Let's do a premeditation song is I Allow by Terry Wilder. And again, feel free to, I guess, chat while you're waiting or be still and quiet, I suppose. and we'll now have our meditation and message with Betty Bennett. 